In this video, I'm going to do a review of the Nova 5610 scan tool. This tool was sent to me to make this video with. It sells for $350. In the description, I'll put a link to where you can buy it at. And they also sell it at O'Reilly Auto Parts. And this is actually a bi-directional scan tool. Yeah, and this is all the information on this scan tool. And the updates are also free on it. It's the only one I've ever seen that's free. Yeah, and this is their best uh, model they have. And this company also sells lots of different tools at O'Reilly Auto Parts and AutoZone. Yeah, and here's what it comes with. It comes with a scan tool, a carrying case, it comes with a USB to USB-C uh, cable, and it comes with your DLC uh, for the OBD2 connector. And another thing I noticed is they also sell some OBD1 connectors for this. A Chrysler, Ford, GM, Honda, and it looks like a Toyota connector. Yeah, I just looked it up. The OBD-1 adapter kit's $99. I'll put a link to that in the description also. So if you scan that QR code, it'll take you to their website. And there's a bunch of, it explains how to do a bunch of different things with this, like updating the software and stuff like that. They have a bunch of videos on it showing you exactly how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is update the software before I try to use this. Hey, this tool is very easy to update. All you do is go to Innova.com, click on Product Support, click on Scanner Updates, then it'll say Windows or Mac, you'll just click on whichever one you have, and download that onto your computer, then you'll open that, then you just plug the scan tool into the computer, and it detects it very, very fast. And with this tool, it said there was no updates available right now. Yeah, another thing about this scan tool, the way it's shaped, you can easily hold it with one hand and still push all the buttons. Yes, yeah, so I just took this up to a 2006 Chevy Colorado, and all I did was plug it in, and it already tells you what codes are stored. And these little red uh, things that are flashing, these are the monitors that haven't run yet. And this is real important in the state of California when you're going to have the emissions test done. So you go to menu. And you can go down to Drive Cycle Procedures. This is a real good one, too. And this tells you, like, if you have a, one of the monitors that haven't run, it tells you how you have to drive the vehicle to make the monitors run. So let's say if you want to get the oxygen sensor monitor to run. And here's the conditions that have to be met for that monitor to run. But some cars, it's very hard to get all the monitors to run, so this is really good for that. And we even tell you where the DLC is located at for the different model years.
And here's some of the bi-directional controls. You can also look at the live data. And if you go to custom live data, you can set it to where you're only looking at whatever sensors you want to see. That way it responds much faster if you do that. Then if you go up to system status, And you also, with this tool, you have the surface resets, where you can reset the oil indicator and a bunch of different ones. This vehicle doesn't have a lot of these. And this can also connect to your phone Bluetooth. I'll show you that in the next video. And here's how you can race the DTs, the treble codes. And here's the fuel injector test. How you do this is you hook the, without it running, you hook a fuel pressure tester up to it, and then you can uh, activate each injector and see how much the fuel pressure drops to see if there's a bad one. Yeah, and this is a great tool for the price, and I'll show you a lot more about it in the next video. Yeah, and if you scan that QR code that's on the front of the scan tool, you can put this app on your phone and it will connect Bluetooth to your uh, phone. And here's all the information it actually gives. It will tell you re recalls and service bulletins and a bunch of different information. And here's one of the reports that was done. And see it shows emissions uh, monitors are not ready because I erased the codes and here's the two codes that came up and you can print this and actually give it to a customer yeah, and I'll show more on how all this works in the next video